welcome back, my fellow investors. This is me, E.T., and remember, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who's always looking for ways to increase one's financial literacy and also increase one's net worth. Now, today, let's talk about it. Video is going to talk about the inflation number that came out today. All right, the CPI came out this morning. It was at uh, inflation is at 9.1%. Once again, it's going up. All right, and with that, chances are we're going to probably see another interest rate. We will see another interest rate hike. Exactly how much? Is it going to be uh, 75 uh, basis point? I mean, 0.75 basis point or full basis point? I don't know. The bare minimum, we're looking at a 0.75 basis point increase. That's going to happen by the end of the week. All right, that's going to be the bare minimum. But also keep this in mind, on the 28th of uh, this month, we'll find out whether or not we're officially in a recession. Remember, a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP. We'll find out on the 28th. Chances are, I'll be willing to bet that we are going to be in a recession. Now, with all that, the Fed is in a very, very unique place right now. They got to fight high inflation. They got to start trying to fight and handle a recession. We're also looking at a period where we're at uh, full employment and the dollar is strong. Wow. Very, very unique situation. Now, some of the options the Fed has in order to fight this, well, they, the number one tool that they have in their toolbox to fight inflation is interest rates. To fight a recession is interest rates. But very rarely have they actually had to, to take care of both at the same time. Well, they're going to have to now. Now, how the Fed handles our fight inflation is by raising interest rates. They raise interest rates to fight inflation. Now, how do they fight a recession? They lower the interest rates. So what do you do when you have both? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. This is going to be a very unique circumstances, and only time will tell whether or not they make the right moves. But one thing I definitely know, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, is during this time period of high inflation and recession is this here. The rich will get richer. When this is all said and done, the rich will get richer. The poor will get poorer. The middle class who's, who's, who's living paycheck to paycheck is going to struggle. And one of the things I want you guys to think about is think about why is the rich getting richer? Whatever the rich can do, we can do. The rich is getting richer because they're continuing to buy assets. Right now, we already know that the equities market, the stock market, is and it's crashing. We're in definitely a bear market when it comes to that. Constantly going down. You lost, I lost a lot of, uh, of my net worth during this time period. It's on paper. I'm not selling anything because guess what? Once I sell it, it becomes a hard loss. Other than that, it's just a paper loss. But what I'm doing, I'm going to do what the rich is doing. And that is, I am going to continue to buy my assets. There's a lot of things that are on sale right now that I wasn't even considering buying this time last year. Amazon, Apple, Google. I'm buying now the, the, the Spy, as well as uh, now I am definitely buying Bitcoin. But the key is this here. You don't throw all your money there. You do what the rich is doing. You dollar cost average. And the reason why you dollar cost average is because... We can't time the bottom. We don't know when the market is going to hit the bottom, if it's at the bottom. So the best thing to do is dollar cost average. The beauty of a dollar cost, of dollar cost averaging, excuse me, is this here. You're reducing your cost basis, basis and you're increasing the total of shares that you have. You're accumulating more. So that way when the market does turn around and get out of this bear market and go back to a bull market, guess what? You're going to make your money back a heck of a lot quicker, and you're going to actually make more. That's how the rich keep getting richer. They take advantage of these opportunities. They control their expenses. They reduce their liabilities and, and, and expenses. 
and they continue to buy assets, especially assets that are on sale during times like this. So what we need to do, if you're not part of that rich camp, is start thinking, acting, and doing what the rich do. Buy your assets, dollar cost average, take this opportunity, and believe it or not, I know it does not feel like an opportunity, but it is an opportunity. And I've heard somebody say, this is the time, this is the opportunity to add another zero to your net worth when this is all said and done. And I believe that. And that's my intention, is that when we're out of this and we're in a bull market again, I want to see that extra zero behind my net worth. Something for you guys to think about, talk about it, and hopefully we do something about it. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this. If so, hit that like, subscribe, notification button. And just like always, guys, remember, save, invest, apply what you know because knowledge is not power. No, it's not. It's the application of knowledge is power. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.